Today I'm going to be sharing a trick with you guys that I learned that really helped increase my eBay sales. So now if you're selling cards of any sort, Pokemon, sports cards, you're going to want to pay attention to this. This helped grow my sales a lot um, within the past few months. So essentially, let me show you guys my screen here. So something, bump over here real quick. So. I sell mainly sports cards, um, some Pokemon, um, but mainly graded cards, as you can see here. Some I grade myself, some I fl um, just get to flip, like this is a flip. Um, for a long time, especially starting out, it's really hard to get some of your listings up there and get noticed and get clicks. Something that, and this can be kind of a double-edged sword, but I it's promoted listings. I was able to make a lot more sales through promoted listings. So what happened on the first few that I didn't catch though, cause I just wanted to try, kind of try it out is you click on this and it's different on when you're on mobile. Um, and the ad rate, obviously you don't want to give eBay another additional 12% cause that's pretty huge. The minimum amount is 2%. And so you can put that in and now this is a promoted listing. So that can be good and bad, mainly good though, as long as you have the margins, um, because a little 2% off the top for most of my cards isn't going to, isn't going to make any sort of difference. So if we pop here into, this is like the last 86 days, um, of sales on my eBay page, nothing crazy. Um, we got 2,600 in sales. Um, and we lost 493 in fees. Um, so, you know, that's part of selling on eBay, but I noticed a huge increase in my sales once I started doing the promoted listings and I'll scroll down here. You guys can see if you want to look at some of the breakdowns, but, um, right here, if we go click on promoted listings, um, you can see that about 70% of my sales were through promoted listings and 30 were from organics. And you can see how this is up by 63% over the, I think it compares to the previous um, 86 days or quarter or whatever it's doing. And this is down. And the reason that's down is because like I said, I'm using the promoted listings a lot. Um, and it was just hard for my cards to surface. So um, anything that you have any reasonable amount of margin on, I would suggest just trying it on a few uh, listings and just like you said, make sure you put it to two percent because you don't want to be you don't want to be eating fees. The first one, it was bad. I wasn't paying attention, and I tried it out and then it was fourteen percent. So it was fourteen percent plus like the thirteen point whatever percent that eBay normally takes. So it was like twenty eight percent of the total sale. So that was bad. Um, but that happens. That's part of learning. That's kind of why I'm just wanting to explain this to you guys is just to show you the power of the prom the promoted listings. Um, I know that a lot of people will probably say to avoid that 2% can go a long way, but when you're first starting and you're trying to get some of these sales, it can be a little discouraging when you're like not even getting views on some of your listings. Um, so you can see here, I I did a monthly uh, recap before, or it was a yearly up to the year. Um, some of the stuff that's been been sold here, and um, most of them are flips. Some are some are grades that I graded myself, and you know it's not a ton of money either. If you look at these total sales, um, twenty six hundred bucks for the past eighty six days. I'm not doing this full time. This is just kind of like a, a thing I do on the side. I flip cards so I can get more cards, so I can grow my personal collection. And I just wanted to share with you guys a tip about the promoted listings. Um, I felt like it, it's really helped me a lot. Um, cause if we if we change this to um, like the last 31 days, you'll notice that on my promoted listings. It's actually okay. So it varies. It varies month to month because, like I said, not every I don't promote every listing, but you can see it's it's kind of balanced out. It's a little bit closer to fifty fifty. So 
um, you kind of have to pick and choose what's promoted and what's not. Um, but like, just, just be smart, uh, just be smart about it and calculate the fees out before you just list things. And that's kind of all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, just wanted a little bit of transparency and, you know, something that I would have appreciated knowing when I was starting out. So, um, I, yeah, I think that that is going to do it for this one. Um, hopefully that helps you guys, um, you know, maybe increase your eBay sales. Um, sometimes when you have something to like some inventory, um, it's like, for example, like this guy, this is a Joe Flacco. <laughs> this I'm going to be selling during the season, during football season, because I have a feeling that he's going to get to play again. So obviously this isn't even listed right now, but if it was, I'm not, I'm not listing this low and I'm not listing it, promoting it, um, versus something, you know, sometimes you get, um, maybe for example, this is not the best example, but, um, this card is a Pokemon card that's, it's pretty far off center and it's not like I'm going to grade it. So maybe you want to move on from it, even if you're taking a little bit of a loss. Um, so sometimes that promoted getting you, you know, higher in the search results can just help you get rid of some inventory or some other cards because even if you take a little bit of a loss on a card you can reinvest that money into other gradable cards or other other cards that actually have a chance to um, go move up in value so um, yeah that's kind of just my mindset around promoted listings um, I actually think that they're good and if you use them properly that they can help grow your your eBay sales so um, yeah, that, that's just kind of my thoughts on that, and um, I think it's going to do it for this one. Remember, guys, it was never a phase. It was never a phase. Um, happy collecting.